going to go into this next match here, which is going to be um, Eternal facing Team Eternity here. So actually, I do get a correction there. It's going to be reverse facing Oboi. My notes not being updated. I apologize for that. But we do go into this next very interesting match here. Reverse a team that has pulled some surprises lately. Oboi a team. Where we can say just the same. They have also played some very, very incredible performances lately. And they are going to face each other on the Thompson House. Especially after the rework of the Coldwind Farm. These maps were not really played anymore. But Thompson House really offers a great strategy and a great mix between quite some strong tiles. Especially towards the top side. And then some work around some dead zones around the harvester and the bottom side so it's going to be a nice mix here and we do see the nightmare the only who could really have a potential in these dead zone chases and the hillbilly with the high mobility so i don't feel comfortable in making a prediction here because i can see Billy and Oni working, maybe even the Nightmare coming out and uh, showing us something really, really surprising. These three, the killers, the teams agreed on reverse and oh boy, we are going to see oh boy starting on the killer side and we are going to catch you straight after a short break. Let's go with the hillbilly! That's what we really, really like to see. Oh boy, coming out with the hillbilly. I really, really like this pick here. Cold wind farm with the hillbilly. High mobility, great chance if you get a mind to force the immediate down. Oh! Pulling a local chain hit here. Great start for our killer. And with me now, as Mathis signed out, is going to be my wonderful friend Q. How are you doing? Are you hype? What it do? What it do? I am hype. We're able to find ourselves a chase very early. Already got ourselves our first really nice hit with the low pro. Already got a very valuable resource out of the way here too. Already removing the the pallet over here at Country. Looks like we are going to be trying to take this chase though back to Shack. And I would anticipate the Cat's going to try and do their best, if not to be able to get the down through the window. Oh. Hopefully you can try and at least force this pallet down because then you've got two of your stronger uh, pallets and resources out of the way. Instead though, we do see Nancy trying to play uh, a little bit greedy around, able to actually make it towards our hay bales itself. And then I, if this is a jungle gym here, we may actually be seeing a nice long, but instead jumping right over into Yokat's face, we're gonna be seeing a pallet break here. However, we're almost at 90 seconds. We might be seeing a gen or two pop here. We do need to see one or two generators here because for a hillbilly 90 seconds is not really what you are looking for. Your great chase by our killer for the opening chase and you mentioned it, a few resources already leaving the trial here, especially the cow tree pallet is something that can be really, really painful. We have left and right of the main building, the three survivors here, second and third generator getting completed, a balanced landing coming out by the ace here, not taking too much risk, and just go for the distance. Interest, oh, oh my oh. goodness, what a great flick to the right side. Allowing the down here, and you do want to go back towards the hook, but I do agree with this decision making right here as a Billy. You do feel really great right now. Sabotage play coming in, but I do think the corner hook is going to be close enough here. So you do have the second fresh hook and quick down. Things are not going too bad for you. Yeah, and the other good thing is right now you do have your three gen over on the shack side of the map, especially considering that you are the hillbilly. You've got that extra movement ability with your chainsaw here, and obviously showing a lot of confidence with the chainsaw thus far, with the nice couple of snipes we've seen. We saw the one with the local pro. We also saw the one earlier, now gonna be getting onto the backside here of the Nancy. We do have this pallet that we can work around here. Looks like we might be able to make it one more time around. I would anticipate seeing the, oh, I think you might be playing with fire here. We have seen Yo-Cat, at least gonna give you the M1, but you see everyone getting reset across the way. Our survivors really coming out being super efficient on their side as well. They are doing a really good job on uh, taking the pressure back, this chase here as well. So if we do see generator number four and five for this chase, 
They have recovered from handing out two downs relatively quickly into this trial here. It's going to be the break of the pallet zoning this survivor. There's one more pallet question is can you reach it in time? Going to be difficult but she should make it. Patience game coming out and Nancy is going to be the winner for now. Actually really oh. confident looping right here. Really beautiful. Now dropping it and now you can hold W behind the main building here so you do take some time and distance. There's the right number before is it going to be the end game yes into the adrenaline as well so our survivor team really coming out strong here two stages and i'm gonna say with the quick down especially this was not what i was expecting <laughs> Yeah, the only unfortunate thing here, as we are going to see with the down, we got the no way out across the way. It gives you plenty of time for the Mori, unfortunately, since we are in a hurry. Yo-Cat couldn't pull us away from the wall, at least give us a nice view. But that is going to be an elimination. It's going to quickly add a couple of hook stages here. We do know that they were approaching the door over here at the 11 position. It does look like that's going to be where Yo-Cat takes off to. The question is, is it just one survivor or have they maybe potentially started rotating over to the farther door? anticipating our killer to come here. Actually, I need to see these doors. Very friendly doors for our killer here. Right now, looking really solid. Yeah, these doors, we could say, is the... Um and the prize for that early down he got in the very nice uh, early game. He really deserves to have doors like this. Yeah, it's going to be tough, however, for the survivor team. So if one of these fresh hooks is staying into the trial, in general, any survivor that is staying into the trial here would be huge because now you're on behind the four stages, so you do have a lot of points with the ranker there. And our um, laser here is really zoned in a difficult spot, is making it back there's going to be the ace coming in as this would be a little bit of a battle trade so he's taking the down with the chainsaw laser holding w the question is are you actually able to make that because it doesn't look like this is going to be the down adam is now trying to uh, expect the pick up there and then you could go for the firecracker save it's not going to be enough but this is laser and our ace staying in the trial here so if there's nothing changing about that we see a ton of stages considering that this is a hillbilly yeah this was absolutely huge here i mean you understand the decision of the ace to come in you figure hey maybe i can hand over a couple of less stage or what one less stage but instead yo cat says nah 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 you know what i'm gonna go ahead and take the one down then i'm gonna chase down another three stages forces out the ace this that was honestly, especially for like the amount of pressure that the survivors were able to put out on the objective side, that was in a phenomenal end game. Yeah, this is going to push him up to nine stages as a Billy on such a big map like Thompson House. And there I really see the value of the high mobility here and can totally understand why you do go for the Billy over the Oni because yeah, the Oni maybe has the stronger power, but you do need to get the power in the first place. And that's a little bit risky. And with the Billy, maybe he's a little bit weaker. I mean, here he doesn't seem weak in any way, but with the Billy, you have the power straight from the start. And our killer really, oh boy, made it happen straight from the start. Here, great performance overall. And this puts a huge pressure onto reverse. You technically, like, we are moving close to a win condition that forces a 4K. And even though they're deciding for the only or the nightmare, it is definitely still going to stay a huge challenge. Yeah, I mean, honestly, just to come out and set the pace like that. And again, it's it's you saw the the very early down and then you were able to get another hook on the opposite side. And even though the, like the survivors were able to be so efficient, you just come out and you just stay cool, calm and collect even throughout the end game of the trial. I mean, you talk about what was there two stages going into the end game? Is that right? When the fifth gen pops? Yeah, yeah, two. It, and, that, and to get that, I mean, to be able to just keep composed and then wind out everything else, that was just, I mean, that was phenomenal. It was it was really, really amazing. So let's, let's talk about the killer pool real quick and make a prediction. I'm going to say that they're going to take the Oni because if you want to meet 10 stages as a win condition, you do need a little bit of risk. And you do need to get a nice early game, then the power, and then use the Oni and his design to quickly switch the things around so i'm gonna say oni is the better yet the riskier pick but this is going to force you into the win condition do you think we're gonna see a billy nightmare or would you say oni is the choice here 
Yeah, I think I'm going to have to agree with you on the Oni choice. I mean, we know that Oni does tend to st uh, like struggle in the early game, but we could say the same thing about Billy, and we just saw Billy have a really strong performance. And I think Oni right now, just the like your power spike potential is unmatched by anybody else. And I think you talked about it on this map with this many stages. I think Oni is the only way to go. Yeah, so... Oni, we agree on Oni. Let's see how Reverse is coming out in the upcoming trial here. We're going to see you again on the Thompson House after a quick break. All right, let's take another trip on back into the fog, back on the Thompson house. Right now, we are going to be seeing La Magic out for reverse. Currently down by eight points here, needing to have a very, very strong game. Somewhere, I think it was like 10 stages needing to be where we're at here. And we're going to be seeing a lot of early pallets being thrown, but oh. a nice mind game by La Magic to get the very first health state change, which starts the power buildup. And honestly, that's kind of the start the magic was looking for. Yeah, when when we uh, revived it did to what we discussed oh. about the Oni and said that the it's the better pick power wise, but the risky pick early game wise, this is absolute perfection because now you also got the hit with the M1, so you just. Uh, smash it here in the first 60 seconds of the trial you have the first hook stage also on a hill always a great location for a hooker you can kind of monitor who's moving in and who's moving away from here we do see a lot of power here as well so this might be the uh, full power very very soon latest when the survivor is coming over to rescue the survivor and go for a trade here so everything is working for you you do lose a generator but i don't think you worry too much and talking about 10 stages being a challenge this is how you could achieve it yeah especially because you get this hook in this corner that <clears throat> you've already kind of started creating a dead zone right and now you know if anyone does go for the one it's a hook uh, on the hill which does take a little bit longer just off the rip but then if you go and bury yourself in this corner you don't really have much as far as resources go so the magic does have the ability to kind of just patrol here and just kind of like post up i would probably check on this gen that's in the middle if i'm being quite honest because that would really be nice to link in with the three gen that you have here um, but you do know that you have an ace lurking in the shadows so i kind of understand wanting to stick around here you do see now at this point a second stage is forced we're still sitting at two gens but something tells me we're going to at least see generator number three here in the next like 15 20 seconds i do think so as well because we do not really see a rescue moving in and that makes me think they are teaming up individual or splitting up individually teaming up individually is quite difficult here on the <laughs> generator therefore we're going to see the split that is generated number three coming out now we do see one survivor in the main building as well leaving too late so this is going to be the hit at the window leading into the next power here so the mobility is back the one shot potential is back everything you need here and it does look like we potentially see the elimination coming through which would force us into the three we want scenario which is always what you're looking for on the killer side here the question after that is going to be how quick can you knock out the remaining generators but you mentioned it Q the generators are kind of stacked towards the top side here so it's going to be a difficult task yeah I mean especially because when we went up to the top of the Tumpton house we had heard that gen was around, I think it's like 50, 60%, not quite to the three pistons fully pumping just quite yet, but we're talking about around 30, 35 seconds of repair work done and then that thing's done. And we can hear this one in the cornfield pretty far along as well. So right now, you not only need to be able to land this shot, you might even need to consider uh, going for a slug play to build up a little bit of extra pressure. The only problem is I anticipate our survivors are probably trying to play this right through immerse <laughs> here to be able to get the stun be able to create a little bit of extra distance and now going to be caught on the pallet that's going to be unfortunately a little bit of the trade-off that you saw here from the aikido's crutch versus the lion's thing that we see so often because the lion's thing would have gotten us a couple more seconds of use of that power 
Yeah, the Lion's Fang is also an add-on that is often used in competitive, right? So interesting choice here for Akira. This head-on was so beautiful. I need to yeah. comment on it real quick. This was a really, really nice try. Or oh, really, really nice move there. We do see more blood being found in the main building, but this is not going to be the next power anytime soon. So this is also the chance for our survivor team to get some pressure into these generators without being in too much danger. Our A is, however, running into the open here as Thompson House, as soon as you do cross the middle line, is becoming a difficult environment. Now you do need to make the chance though. Do you commit to the A's? That would be great for the stages, but you really oh. don't have the time as you do need to take care of the generators on the top side. But the Le Magic expects another survivor to be here is correct with that gas. So this is the power. This is the mobility. If this leads into a quick down, then the trade of going towards the bottom side while not losing all generators would become reality. Yeah, I mean, you do also have an ace that is powerful. Fading out the head on, able to get the down here as far as with the regular M1. Actually going to go ahead and go for the pickup because you have to consider, even though you didn't invest the time to go back to the bottom side of the map for this chase, now you have a survivor over here requiring assistance from one of the two remaining survivors to have to break away from the three gen up here on the top side of the map. And the other question I can't help but wonder is if these orbs were new or if they're old because the ace, if he's somewhere around here and already injured, this could really spell some disaster. And I do think that is actually from the ace here because there are a lot of orbs there. Oh. The blood just now as well and you're behind the main building oh. kind of on the 11th position. But five generators have been completed. You have the chance to go for the exit gates. No way out with two stacks. So that's going to be a little bit extra time for you. Oh, no! And Serena is going down, leaving just the ace now. So this is going to be a really, really difficult end game. And you can hook these two survivors straight next to each other. So Le Magic here may be turning the things in the last second. Yeah, and now think about this. You had mentioned the no way out. That's a third fresh stack uh -oh. here before it gets hit. So even if they were to try and go for the door, they'd have given the notification of where they're at. And we have the two people hooked back to back. We thought that 10 stages were gonna be a tall tale, but here we're taking Chase back here. We only have this one pallet. We use the other one back behind us. We only have a TNL, which isn't really much to be able to work with, especially against an Oni with the bamboozle. Gets done, stupid, says the ace. At least he's able to buy just a little bit of additional time here. But I don't know if it's going to be enough. We only have just a little bit more, of course, as the magic's working around here, we're gonna be pretty close to seeing that bloodlust kicking in just a little bit extra speed working around the tile space now going back towards the tnl here and this is going to be where that oh didn't even need the bamboozle instead just a quick hesitation from the ace ace being down on the ground and chat i'm not sure what resolution y'all are watching this in but that does indeed look like a 4k to me it does look like a wonderful 4k to me 10 stages billy is something where you say okay our survivor game really really didn't went how we imagined that and that puts the pressure onto your killer and the magic coming out here with an absolute incredible performance i'm glad that he picked the only because i really like when these people go for the confident picks when they do go for a little bit of risk and then they are performing so great that they do actually get the value out of their decision making so the magic can just be really really proud here along with team reverse taking the win over oh boy here and especially after oh boy has pulled up so many surprises lately and came out so strong this win must mean even more to reverse yeah. Oh boy, talk about a uh, reverse in the uh, change of things here. I mean, it really looked like there for a second. I, I thought, oh boy, survivors kind of had things in control. And then you get the snipe there when you come across, you find the lorry, you have them back to back. And then at that point, it was just the dominoes fell into place from there. That was honestly, <laughs> that, that, that was really entertaining to watch. It was absolutely phenomenal. And the next match we have on the limit.